I'm sure that many of you know about the struggles that Blessed Mother Teresa of Calcutta faced in her interior life. Here's a great saint of our time, and for years she struggled with deep interior darkness. She didn't feel God's presence and felt that she was abandoned by God or that God didn't really exist. Hello, I'm Father James Kubicki, and the experience that Mother Teresa had has a name, The Dark Night of the Soul, which is the title of a book by the saint we honor today, the Carmelite mystic and doctor of the church, Saint John of the Cross. Saint John drew a map that showed three paths leading toward heaven. The only problem is two of the paths are wide and end before they get there. And it's only the third narrow path that actually leads there. One of the wide paths has all sorts of earthly goods on it, including science, liberty, rest, and honor. The other wide path has all sorts of spiritual goods on it, like knowledge, consolation, joy, security, and glory. The problem is that we humans can get attached to the things on those wide paths, good in themselves, but bad when they distract us from God and make us stop short of Him. The narrow path on St. John's map has one word, in Spanish, nada, or nothing. The idea is that in order to reach heaven, we must let go of everything that is not God, every good thing that can ultimately become an idol for us, things that become more important than God. Even good feelings and peace and prayer, good in themselves, can become our focus instead of God. And so we have to be stripped of them as well. That's what happened to St. John of the Cross and Blessed Mother Teresa and so many other saints. God led them through a dark night of the soul in order to be their one and only consolation.